Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Red Barn pack from FSG Modding, FSG Tasman. This pack includes 16 different buildings and placeables all in one. We got stuff for every single animal plus a lot of sheds that I think are going to make your American farms look even better. I do want to thank FSG Modding for sending this pack over to show you guys ahead of time. Huge shouty outy to those guys. I'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys to check them out if you want to. Otherwise, let's take a look at this new pack for all platforms. The first building is going to be the cow barn. This will hold 150 head of cattle. It's got bell triggers for straw and hay, and it has an automatic water supply so you guys don't have to worry about giving your cows water ever what i have done is you can see we got some grass down in certain places but not in other places i have completely left off free build mode so this is all the stuff that's going to place down uh at max or none at the minimum so there you go 150 head of cattle if you guys are curious we are on prairie farms uh the 1x version of that map but one of the cool things is it's not just a building and it's not just a place for your cattle this is actually, I mean, look at this, little, this side, we've even got a place for manure over here as well, which is really, really cool. Badoop, right there, place over here for, uh, I think that's slurry or manure, another place over here for milk. No, oh, place over there was for milk, this is for slurry. Nonetheless, what an epic barn, but that's just the bottom. As you can see here, there is another door on the back side of it, and we are going to take a look at it. Open this up. Sounds, of course, are really nice. And then we've got this whole open area up here where you can store stuff, store your all kinds of stuff. And we got a, a uh, straw door here where you can drop down bells down to the bottom. How cool is that? Next, we have the sheep barn. So this will hold 75 sheep. It's got a bell trigger uh, for hay and grass, and it has auto water as well. So you guys don't have to worry about that. All of your... Uh, uh, the wool will pop up over there and this is one of the very few pieces of uh placeables rather where you can't actually get in of course right here you can buy but one of the nice things is you really don't have a reason to come in here so you just won't be coming in here next is the pig barn this also has bell trigger for straw and hay and it also has its own automatic water supply as you can see it is completely enclosed as well so we can open this up and come inside of course we have uh, uh drops right there for food and everything that you need over here you can buy your little baby piggies do what you need to do and both ends open so you can open those up I do want to look at that i mean every building has it but just the incredible detail that's it's showed off here is just remarkable in comparison to some of the other stuff that we've got in the game very nice very very nice next we have the chicken barn this will hold 200 head of chickens i guess yeah uh there you go chickens yeah <laughs> here you can buy them uh it is completely enclosed but they will be in there running around doing their thing and we can open this up and come inside and this is where uh, i believe eggs will spawn as well as your uh, food can be deposited oh no wait eggs out here that's my bad boop and they really have truly thought of everything because we even have a beehive uh this looks to be a double sized beehive than what we would have in base game or maybe a quadruple sized beehive no door opening there um and it will do 2,000 liters of honey per day and your last animal pen of the day we have the horse barn this will hold 16 horses it has automatic triggers uh for water and a bell trigger for straw and hay so we have bell triggers on everything we also have an opening here for the shutters on the side so you can open and close those shutters which i just find incredible super cool a really nice just animation that they've added plus every single one of these opens they didn't have to do that but they did and it's awesome you can open up out here go for a ride do what you need to do it is kind of a full-fledged working uh horse stable which is very very nice now the one thing i will say is it's got a top but as you can see uh, i don't think we're going to be able to use that for anything as there is no uh well, there was no visible way to get up there. I'm sure you could probably climb this ladder if you really want to. Let's just poke our head up here. Yeah, there's really not a lot of room to do much of anything up there, but it does exist. 
which is pretty cool. And now we make our way into the placeable items. The first one is the three bay workshop. So this has three doors, three big old doors right here on the front. All of them do open as so. And we got a workshop in here. So we can come over here, any of your three items, select the one that you need to, and you'd be able to work on your vehicle. You can also use this for storage for your vehicles if you want to do that as well. Next, we have the open garage. Just like the three bay workshop, this features automatic lighting at night as well. We do have some doors here on the side that we can open and close if we wish. We do have a long bay right here on the right hand side where we can pull things in this way or we can pull things in this way, whatever you want in a complete drive through area right here. This seems like the perfect place to park up your semi truck or maybe a long cedar sprayer combo, something like that. I think this would be the perfect option. Speaking of sheds that you drive through, here's a drive through shed. There is really not much more to it other than that. Coming into here, we do have automatic lighting and it is 20 meters by 13 meters. So it is not a small shed by any means, but it is pretty darn cool. Next is your open shed. This has automatic lighting as well. 16 meters by 10 meters. So it's not tiny, but it is, it ain't, you know, it's not massive either. We do have full open areas right through here. You can store it really anything you need to. This is a very, very versatile shed um, and it has uh, automatic lighting. Did I say that? Yeah, they all have automatic lighting. Great job. Another one for you guys is the equipment and bell storage. This is kind of similar to the open shed, but a uh, completely different styling on here. And we have uh, areas where you can stack your bells inside a very high open area here as well maybe you want to do two different combine harvesters side by side you could probably fit some in here um it's very nice also i just want to take a second to look at all those rocks yes sir and the wood looks very good up close too very cool equipment and bell storage we also have a house uh this is uh at least seemingly the house from base game doesn't look like we're able to go inside or anything like that and the bottom left side down here also goes down like the base game house. Uh, you can ignore the water because there is a water plane under Prairie Farms that is basically right below the surface. So there is that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, really not a whole lot to it. It's just a big old red house. Next, we've got the windmill. The windmill will make you $120 per hour in game. It is matching. It's got the same textures and it has the same colors as well. So if you guys need that, there you go. Some interesting uh, artifacting going on. Maybe it's because I've been in this game for a while. That could be it. And we have a couple silos for you as well. The first one is the Small Barn with Silo. This is a 250,000 liter capacity and it does have a small barn with it as well. So if you guys need to store some smaller pieces of equipment, maybe you want to store some hand tools, bells, whatever, well, you've got an access to that. The only thing is upstairs, uh, there's no way to get to upstairs from the outside. So you will want to... Do anything that you're putting in there make sure you could pick it up and this is your silo right here there's your spout to get stuff out and this is your grating to put stuff in and we also have a larger version as well both of these by the way will hold your standard i think it's like seven or eight maybe nine crops wheat barley oats canola sunflower soybeans corn sorghum and sunflowers i think that was the correct order um this one's a little bit bigger uh, there's a huge area outside there's a huge area inside, and if we go up, we do have an open area above as well, but it is not accessible. So you will need to find a uh, sneaky way to get up there if you're going to use that. Uh, you can if you want to, really. Uh, here's your silo. It is much larger than the other one because it holds half a million liters. However, the layout is exactly the same. And again, this is that outdoor area. A little smaller of a door, but... A uh, huge, huge area inside. Goodness. And we have finally come to the last piece of equipment, or piece of equipment, the last placeable in this pack. The Big Barn Storage Shed. This thing is huge. It does have automatic lighting, massive area here on the right-hand side. If we open up these massive doors, as you can see, this is very similar uh, to the uh, Big Barn with Silo, but it's just Big Barn Storage store Shed. Yeah. So it's very similar, if not the exact same one. And then if we come on, through here on the other end we have a long open area there so you've got a full open on one and a one-ended 
on the other. Um, it'd probably be good for putting stuff away during the winter. Maybe you got some older equipment. It'd be the perfect little place for it. And there you guys go. That is the full Red Barn Pack from FSG modding fsg tasman again 16 different buildings and placeables are included with this including animals and all kinds of stuff uh, you could definitely make a full farm yard farm area that completely matches and i'm definitely going to try and use at least a few of these pieces in my next series which will be a whole lot of fun again i was using prairie farm michigan 1x the uh, all platform cross play version if you guys are curious if you like the layout of the map check that out and uh, if you like this pack definitely find fsg modding linked in the description and go tell them tell them you're excited about it uh, this as far as i am recording this on friday february the 10th they have uh just fixed it up and sent it back for testing i didn't believe that it failed the first time around but nothing too crazy Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoM fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Otherwise, have a great one. We'll see you guys later.